I'm going to show you how I make AI music videos where the lips naturally match the vocals so that it doesn't ruin the video. I've created a lot of music videos with AI and my first ones looked great visually, but I kept running into the problem where the lip sync just didn't look natural. And although we all know AI lip sync isn't perfect yet, you can create some amazing results with natural lip sync if you use the right workflow. The truth is most lip sync tools and video generators warp the face. They don't maintain facial structure, so the sync never holds. It breaks every time. But good lip sync is what separates amateur AI edits from actual music video level quality. If the lips feel real, the entire video feels real. So I'm going to break down the entire process step by step from generating the vocals to creating consistent character images and videos that are properly set up for accurate lip syncing. So let's get into the generation process. I'll be using a combination of 11 labs and multiple models in Design AI. If you want to follow along, I'll link the tools in the description. So the first step is creating the track itself. For this, I go to 11 laps, and once I'm on the homepage, I click music and switch to custom mode. This is where you define the entire song. As you can see in my prompt, it includes the genre, style, tempo, vocal texture, and lyrics. If you include all of that, you'll end up with a great custom song you can actually use. I pick the version I like most, then download both the full track as a WAV file and the isolated vocals, which I'll use later for lip syncing. Now I'm heading into Design AI to start creating my base images. I go to the text to image generation tab and select the model design realistic V3. This is the most important step for lip sync because if the character isn't photorealistic and consistent from the start, the sync will fall apart later. So I'm creating a fully photorealistic character. In this case, it's a young American man with sharp features, confident eyes, wearing a black hoodie under a worn denim jacket, standing in a dark parking lot lit by street lights and car headlights. The lighting is cold blue orange cinematic shot on high-end cinema cameras with shallow depth of field and a subtle film grain texture. Once the images are generated I pick the one where the face is the sharpest and the lighting is the cleanest. Then I upscale it to four times. Never skip upscaling before video generation. It gives the model more facial detail to work with and that's what keeps the lip sync stable. This becomes your character reference for the entire video. Now go to the instant storyboard tab inside Design AI. I'm going to generate five cinematic shots using the character I just created. These shots will become the foundation of my music video. For the first shot, I created the cinematic wide shot of an empty parking garage at 2 a.m. And for my second shot, I use an extreme close-up reflection on the wet car hood. Then my third shot is the man leaning casually against the driver's side door. My fourth shot is a front-facing shot from the passenger seat perspective. And the final shot is the man standing on an empty rooftop parking level at night. After I generate all the shots, I upscale each one to four times and download them. These become my base frames for video generation. And the reason this works is because design keeps the character's facial structure consistent across every shot. Most other tools randomize features between generations and completely break consistency. And that's exactly why most workflows fail. Now go to the AI video tab in design and switch to pro mode, then set the quality to 1080p. What's important here is that I'm using their Google VO 3.1 fast model. This gives much more realistic human motion. I set my duration to eight seconds, but you can adjust that based on your project. I also set the aspect ratio to 16 to nine. Now here's the key part. Your motion prompts need to be simple and focused entirely on keeping the face stable. This is where most people go wrong. They think more movement means more realism, but it's actually the opposite. More motion creates more distortion. So let me show you how I turn this image into a video. After adding the settings, I'll add this prompt. And as you can see in my prompt, I really break down what I want. This allows me to have more control over the video output. Then I'll click generate and I'll download that video to be lip synced. I've done this exact same process with my other scenes too. Now to lip sync this video, I'm going to the lip sync tab in design and I will pick the best frame where I select the face very clearly so that the model understands what to lip sync. Before we start lip syncing, you can generate B-roll shots for parts of the song. You can do this by using the first shot or the character reference image. For example, I did this with a prompt that made the man turn and walk back to his car. This shot doesn't need lip sync. It's just for pure B-roll like any music video could have. But now comes the actual lip sync part. So like I explained, once you got your video, click on lip sync, choose the frame and face, and now upload the isolated vocal track without the music behind it. But here's the trick that most people miss. Add a small gap at the beginning of the audio track about half a second of silence before the vocals start. This helps alignment. The model needs that tiny buffer to lock onto the first syllable. Without it, the sync can drift slightly. 
hit generate and design will process the lip sync and output a new video where the mouth matches the vocals frame by frame. You'll notice the difference immediately. The mouth actually opens and closes correctly with the vowels. Now I just repeat this process for the other shots. For each one, upload the matching vocal segment, add the small audio gap at the start, generate the lip synced video and download the result. If you have the credits, generate multiple versions of each shot. This gives you options in the final edit because sometimes one version will have slightly better mouth articulation than another. Now the reason this works in design is because it doesn't just overlay mouth shapes like most tools do, it actually reprojects the facial geometry based on the audio waveform. That's why the sync feels natural instead of robotic, but if the lip sync looks distorted in a specific clip, go back and generate a fresh frame from the video. Pick a cleaner moment where the face is more stable, then rerun the lip sync on that frame. A lot of the time, the issue is simply that the starting frame had too much motion blur or an awkward expression. If the motion is too intense and the face warps during generation, simplify your motion prompt. Use phrases like minimal movement and stable facial structure. The most common mistake I see is overcomplicating the motion. People think they need dramatic camera moves or intense head movement to make it look more realistic. But subtle is always better. That's the counterintuitive truth here. And as you can see here in the final result, the lip sync actually matches the vocals naturally. They watching from a distance, but they never get too close. I'm moves just like a phantom, I'm the one they fear the most. No light inside my rear view, just a blow from city roads. Ghost, shadow drive, no lights, just a vibe. I was born where the lost ones survive. City lights are fading, skies turning peach and gold. Wind in my hair, I'm not letting go. You can repeat this process with new characters, new songs, different genres, and the efficiency stays the same. It's a repeatable system that works. And I get that most people get stuck at the lip sync stage because they're using tools that can't maintain facial consistency. That was the biggest bottleneck for me too. But once you remove that, the entire process becomes scalable. Design removes the instability problem and lets you focus on artistic direction rather than fixing broken lips. That's what matters. This is the simplest way I've found to do it consistently. If you want to try this workflow yourself, the link is in the description. Test it with a short 10 second vocal and see how stable the lip sync becomes. You'll see the difference immediately. Once you have all your lip synced clips, bring them into a free editor like DaVinci Resolve and align them with your full audio track. Make sure each clip locks in tightly with the vocals. If there's any drift, nudge it a few frames until the mouth hits every syllable cleanly, then export. The vocals match perfectly, the character stays stable and the lip sync feels natural. This is the most consistent way I've found to build AI music videos that actually look professional. So that's the full workflow. You now have everything you need to create AI music videos with natural lip sync that holds frame by frame. You can repeat this with any character, any song, any genre, and the results stay consistent. This is the simplest way I found to do it. If you want to try it yourself, all the tools are linked in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.